Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and let the people talk begin, let the rumours begin. Celtic's next manager. It's a conversation we're going to be having for the next three months, I'd imagine. Until an announcement is officially made by Celtic, there's going to be speculation, there's going to be rumours floating about the internet that we're just going to have to talk about and take with a pinch of salt. And one of those has a kind of rose above them all at the moment. Celtic's next manager is up for question. And the main candidate at the moment seems to be a Mr Enzo Maresca, a man that we might not know a lot about. Uh, but we'll take a look in this video at what this could mean for Celtic if he is appointed the next manager. Right then, we're a couple of days late off this rumour. I know it's been spoke about already quite heavily on all the relevant social media platforms and Twitter and Facebook, all the rest of it. It has been covered by other guys as well on uh, YouTube and uh, different sources. Um, it, it's something that we... It, it's not new. It's not news. You might already know about it, but I'm here to give my opinion on it as this channel is mainly made for. It's something that I will also dive into a lot more in detail probably on the next edition of the podcast and over the next few weeks as names start to emerge and who may be who may be the favourite uh, and who could be taking the job. It's not concrete, there's nothing there that suggests that this is going to be done but he has kind of rose to the top of the list of favourites and Celtic have apparently identified him as the top target to be next manager. So Enzo Maresca, who is the man? Who is he? What is he going to do at Celtic um, if he does come here? What's he like as a manager? It's something that I'm going to touch on straight away and I think a lot of us, and I think the vast majority of us, perhaps maybe uh, 95 to 99% of Celtic fans will agree in saying we don't know much about him. It's a guy that's never managed um, in the senior levels of football before. Um, and it's something fresh and new, certainly. And it's something that we're going to learn about together. A guy that we're going to learn about together if he does become the Celtic manager. Very quickly, I do apologise for being so close to the camera in this video. I really should have took a little pace backwards um, before I started recording. It won't be like that for good. I just made a mistake for this one video. So then I'll give my opinion on it all. So the news was broke by Italian journalist Nicola Shira. I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced, but you know, I'm, I'm not Italian, um, so I'm not too sure. Don't, don't pin me down in the comment section and abuse me for getting it wrong if that's the case. But the news was broke by him the other day that Celtic have been looking at him as perhaps the top target to be the next manager of the club um, as he closes in on the, the Premier League 2 title for, with Manchester City. That's currently who he's with, Manchester City working under the setup there with Pep Guardiola and co as manager of the second team, the team that competes in the Premier League 2 almost kind of like a reserves or youth team league if you like um, and they're closing in on that title for the first time he's a man who has been raved about um, by, a, by a few people in terms of what he could bring in a, tactically to Celtic uh, and somebody would certainly bring a lot of change from what we've seen under Neil Lennon apparently Maresca is highly rated by Pep Guardiola which is something that you would take as a positive considering Pep Guardiola is arguably the greatest manager of the modern generation in football um, and someone who has been working with him for quite a while now started his playing career back in I think the 90s with West Brom or such and went on to win trophies with Sevilla and Juventus um, a player who was playing at the highest level he won the UEFA Cup in fact with Sevilla at Hamden in 2007 so a guy that's been about as a professional footballer and now doing bits uh, as a coach and, and someone who's been working with of course really good talent down in England I mean, you're looking at Manchester City's youth setups as one of the best in the world, the players they produce there and the players they get to work with there. Now, of course, Manchester City is a club who you might say go out to give people a chance very rarely, considering they sign players for upwards of £50 million constantly and these younger guys don't get a chance. But as a club who produce good young players and you look at maybe Phil Foden as the standout in that crop of players. But he's been there for a while now um, and someone who has coached at other clubs as well, um, kind of making a name for himself in that sort of role. He's only 41 years old, which makes him quite a young manager and a young coach. Um, not too not too far off of his retirement age a, a little while ago. He's also coached at clubs like West Ham and Sevilla too. So yes, he's been around big clubs. West Ham, of course, a, a constant Premier League outfit. Um, Sevilla, a club who are at the top of European football with wins in the Europa League constantly. And now at Manchester City, who are the, the best club in England at the minute. Uh, certainly someone with a pedigree behind him but that will be there will always be that question mark there as to is he ready to take a step in the management game senior management game so 
On to my opinion, which is the main beef of this video, I think the other guys will do a, a better job at explaining who he is and giving a more detailed analysis of him as a manager and a coach. Um, a video was made over in 67 Hail Hail, shout out to Hamish and the guys over there. If you want to go and watch theirs on who the guy is and, and more about him, um, they'll do more justice than me. But I'm here to give my opinion on it and, and that's basically what I've always used this channel for, my platform, to kind of informed to an extent but mostly give an opinionated view on things so Enzo Benesca ultimately is someone who I think will divide um, if he was appointed Celtic manager I think he would divide opinion I think you would see a, a, an element of the support who would raise their eyebrows over who is he what's he done um, he's not really got a managerial pedigree behind him yet coming into Celtic as his first job is, is a big ask I think there'll be that sort of animosity there that perhaps some had with Ronnie Dyer and, and maybe it comes around to that he's not a Celtic man thing but that will always be there and I think we've got to ultimately accept that there will be an element of the supporter who will always raise that eyebrow towards an appointment that isn't along the lines of you know Mick McCarthy or Paul Lambert or something like that you know there's always going to be that sort of question mark with an element of the support and it is frustrating but it's something that as a manager, they'll be willing to come and win over and they'll be looking to try and, and, and win fans from the start. You know, they'll be wanting to come in with winning ways and a setup that is something fresh, entertaining, and something that can get fans on board. And I think that's something that we'd get with Enzo Maresca if he was appointed as manager. I will hold my hands up there and say I would rather the likes of Eddie Howe if it's still possible uh, above the likes of Enzo Maresca here, but it's something I'll not bat an eyelid at. I think if he was appointed manager, it is very ambitious for Celtic, and I like that. Now, Every manager, let's, let's just quickly put one thing out there. Any manager who comes to Celtic can be a hit or miss. There's a risk, there is a gamble involved with every single manager we can appoint here. Um, just because they're of a certain uh, pedigree or not doesn't mean they're going to succeed. And if they've got a lack of pedigree, doesn't mean they're going to flop. That is the reality of football. It's a fickle sport and things can go either way. I think it's a guy that comes in, we've got to understand that there's got to be patience there. This isn't going to be an overnight fix and I've got a video going to come out in that in the next few days and the rebuild and how this is going to be a patient time for Celtic fans. We have to be willing to wait for change to come. It's not going to come quickly, is it? And with Enzo Maresca, it's certainly going to kind of put an exclamation mark on that. I think that the, the change will take a bit longer if he wants to install something completely new. You go from Neil Lennon, a guy who openly said one time that he wasn't a big believer in tactics and all the rest of it, to a guy who's apparently a, a very much a tactician and has worked with someone who's very much a tactician over the past few years in Pep Guardiola. Of course, there's going to be a, a kind of a system there that works between the, the sort of the transition between the Manchester City lower teams, the second team, the youth teams, into the senior team that they have to be ready to go and work with Guardiola and play a certain way. So that's going to be installed in Enzo Maresca. So I've got to understand that he will be quite a tactician. And if he comes here, it's going to be very different, a very different setup from what we've had under Neil Lennon. And that is what I am most happy about. We need to get as far away from possible as what we've had over the last year with Neil Lennon. And that with Enzo Maresca being appointed, if that is the case, that is exactly what we'll get. We'll get something that is completely different, a night and day complex. And honestly, that's all I want at the minute. And if it comes with him, I'll, I'll openly welcome him as Celtic manager. With open arms, he can come and manage your club in my eyes. I think that the appointment of, of Maresca, um, I keep I keep saying the appointment of Maresca and using the word appointment as if it's, it's basically done, it's going to happen. Please keep in mind, it's all paper talk at the minute and there's nothing there to suggest that it's actually going to happen. But if he was appointed as manager, it very much suggests that there will be a very big change as how we work as a club. It, to me, signals that it's going to be that head coach role rather than a manager role. We will start using and seeing those terms a lot. And we know that's going to happen. We know that there's a director of football going to be put in place. We know Dominic Mackay is coming in as well as CEO. We know there's going to be a lot of change at the club. But it kind of lines up with the names that are being thrown about um, as the potential director of football at Celtic. Uh, Fergal Harkin, who also works at Manchester City fits very well with Maresca as he works at Man City. Tognosi of Juventus, I think he's a scout over there who's also been touted as a perhaps target for the director of football role, an Italian like Enzo Maresca. It all kind of lines up and we understand now that this is going to be the way forward for Celtic and it's a good indication as us moving forward as a club into the modern world and that is why this is very good. A fresh, new manager, young on the scene who we want to make a name for himself. It almost kind of resembles what Rangers done with Steven Gerrard three years ago. Um, it all kind of lines up inside with that. They took the step into becoming a modern club and it's worked for them in the long run. They've got their league title and now Celtic are falling suit. Something that they should have done when Brendan Rodgers left the club or even when Brendan Rodgers was still in charge of the club. Brendan Rodgers said in his press conference a few weeks ago when Lennon was sacked, or Lennon resigned, sorry, that 
it's vital for a club like Celtic to get that, go and get a role like a director of football there. And you can understand that the frustration he must have felt as a Celtic manager not to have that in place while he was there. And one of the reasons he probably left, because we weren't thinking like a modern club. So with the appointment of Maresca, if he comes in as manager, you're going to see all these changes. And I like that. I, I must admit, I think it's a very, very... I'm warming to it as the days go by. And the more that you read about the guy the more interesting it actually gets. I think another positive of perhaps appointing someone li one, uh, like him is his know-how of the game and his know-how around the continent as well. Of course, a guy who's worked in Spain, worked in Italy, uh, and now in England as well with a very good team like Manchester City, the links that are developed there between both him and the director of football will be very beneficial to the club in terms of who we sign, who we look to sign, perhaps who we may loan into the club. And even deeper than that, perhaps from a staff point of view who we bring in too, um, it's a very positive sign. Um, and I like that and, and, and he speaks really well I listened to one of his latest press conferences in case he did mention anything on the Celtic job and the way he spoke about development of players the way he spoke about the youth and such was really kind of refreshing to hear from a manager from a Celtic fan because you don't hear too much of it at Celtic we are kind of guilty of not giving enough of these guys a chance especially in the past year or so you've seen the likes of Scott Robertson Ewan Henderson you can go even deeper to Leo Connor and yes we do of course I'm not saying that we don't develop youth players and we don't give guys a chance you look to McGregor you look to Tierney you look at guys like that who've rose through the ranks of the club to perhaps become really good players and better than Celtic and the likes of Tierney now succeeding in the Premier League we do do it but it's a guy who I think would put a kind of a, 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 maybe a, a bit more importance and a bit more stress on the fact that we need to give guys like that a chance and I think he'll be able to develop their game a bit better especially with his own coaching team beside him so if I was to summarise I'd be very happy with the appointment of Enzo Maresca, I must admit. Now, the guy himself has kept very quiet on it. Um, in his last press conference with Manchester City, um, or the Manchester City second team, whatever, he, he didn't really touch on it, he kind of glanced over it. Um, and, yeah, he was talking more about focusing his, putting all his focus on getting this title done with the Man City second team. So... You know what, we'll wait and see what happens. I think there's going to be more links to come. It won't be the first and it won't be the last name that's thrown up there um, between now and the day that the announcement is made. I'm still rooting for Eddie Howe. Everybody knows that on this channel. I'm an Eddie Howe guy. I want Eddie Howe in this club. Um, but I will not knock him back in a heartbeat. So let's see where it goes. Let me know what you think. This is just basically me giving my opinion. So leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you've enjoyed, like and subscribe. And very quickly, may I also say thank you so much for 25 thousand subscribers absolutely mad and I, i'm chuffed to bits um well done to the giveaway winner as well um i die i don't really know what else to say it's a kind of speechless moment isn't it so thank you um and if i could do anything in this world with, with the way it is just now to kind of do something special for 25k and trust me i would but we're all kind of stuck here and all the rest of it so it's a bit hard but we'll see where things go and i want the channel to keep growing so if you are new around here make sure to hit subscribe thank you see you all next time